Hey guys, welcome back. Mike here at MH Tutorials. Well guys, a few days ago I did a tutorial on how to create snow on top of objects. And as a follow-up on that tutorial, I want to do a video today on how to create uh, tire tracks in the snow. Okay? So let's get started with that. I just uh, loaded a, a quick backdrop here. It's just a simple image. You know, just to give it some more attitude, if you will. So we're going to start off with our polygon cube. We're going to drag that out in the grid. And we're going to give that some height, not too much. Let's say something like so. And what's really important is when you go to your polycube one tab, make sure you have uh, enough subdivision. Height is not too important. Let's do 5, but 20 by 20 reason for that is the tracks created in the snow surface uh, are relying on the vertices created in this plane. So no subdivision, no track. Simple as that. All right. We're going to right click. We're going to assign new material, Lambert, and just make that white for our snow. Okay. I'm going to quickly create a tire. Just move this thing over here. There we go. For that, we're going to take a polygon pipe, pull that up, go to our attribute editor. Let's do 40 subdivisions. Let's do one, actually, let's do two in thickness. Let's uh, do three caps. And in height, let's do four. All right. Select it, hit E, rotate that to 90 degrees. We're going to zoom in, right click edge, double click on that edge, and shift to double click on that one. Do the same here. We're going to extrude these edges, so hit R, and let's uh, pull them out until we get pretty much the situation here. We're going to right-click edge again. We're going to select that one and shift select that one, and we're going to scale it up a little bit. Looks like a pretty straightforward tire here. We are going to uh, right click, go to face, and select two faces, skip two, uh, select two, skip one row, and so forth. Oh, missed one there. I'll try to do that as quickly as possible. That should be it. Let's check that for a sec. Yeah, it looks okay. We're going to go to our polygon menu. We're going to go to edit mesh and extrude. Let's hit R. Let's pull that out. And take our green control and pull it in until we got that. Right click object mode, select our objects, go to our animation tab, create deformers and lattice. We're going to go to our lattice settings and in the T division we're going to go to 5. We're going to go to our top view, right click on our lattice, Lattice point, drag select the vertices in the middle. Then we're going to hit E and we're going to rotate that to give it that shape here. Okay. Object mode, 
edit delete by type history and we'll just uh let's see what we've got here yeah we'll just flip that guy over so it's facing that way for no particular reason but yeah there we go and let's make this thing black assign new material lambert and black okay now let's line this up with our snow surface so there it is we're gonna hit w we're gonna pull that in and up maybe scale the tire down a bit scale that down we're going to bring it down in this view here like that okay let's move it over here okay we're all set now a couple of things we need to do first we are going to select our snow surface right we're going to go to our dynamics menu soft rigid bodies we are going to go to create soft body hit the option box make sure you got duplicate make copy soft selected make sure the top one is not checked and these two are and set the weight to zero and hit apply and minimize okay next thing while you got your plane selected go to window outliner and go to your particle node all right and then shift select your tire minimize this go to your end dynamics menu uh, sorry to your dynamics menu particles and make collide all right now we got that next we need to animate our tire so for that we're going to go to this view here now let's do a thousand frames okay so i'm in frame one and this is my initial point okay so i'm going to hit s on my keyboard to keyframe that there we go that's one i want my object to move to about here and, and i want it to i'm oh, sorry i have to do that first i'm going to go to frame 500 i'm going to click on that then i'm going to move my object here so by frame 500 i want it to move from there to there okay now i can check on my position here as you can see the translation is an x so to about there I'm going to right click and I'm going to set key and as you can see a key has been set but I also want it to rotate over towards this point so what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit E on my keyboard oh, get out of there first hit E on my keyboard and starting to rotate that to 360 degrees right click and set key now let's just check to see if our animation is working and it is and you got a lot of stuff going on down there don't worry about that we're going to go to our perspective view and let's see if we got the track that we were looking for okay so let's hit play and as you can see that's our track okay now there are a couple of things we can tweak so I'm just gonna select that go to actually select this window outliner particle shape and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna um, go to my where do you go um, let's see not there I'm looking for something that I cannot find right now we will increase the friction to about 0 0.2 and I think that will clean it up a little bit let's try that again there's our tire 
and there is our track. Okay. Now you can see that it's a bit uh, square here. Reason for that is the number of um, um, number of subdivisions I chose, and like I said, the vertices that are present here. These vertices are the objects that create our track. So the higher the number of subdivisions on our plane, the cleaner your track will look, okay? So this is a simple and easy way to create tracks in, in the snow. Uh, hopefully you guys like this tutorial. Thank you guys for watching. If you've got any questions, let me know. And see you guys next time.